talk about a gorgeous day for that run. Let's get over to meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch. Beautiful weather, bundled up this morning. Yes, crisp start. But it's only going to get warmer from here, you it say. It is going to start warming up after tonight. You know, we have to dip down sure. deep into the dregs of the fall chill before we can rebound, and then we really start to climb up the ladder through the work week. We're talking about the potential for record warmth this Halloween. Live outside right now, it is glorious. Look at this. Sunset was at 5. 59 right before the six o'clock hour and we have at this moment 53 degrees and some high level clouds tonight. It will be a cold one. The coldest we've experienced thus far for the season. Then the warmth return, but does the rain? We talked about a Tuesday about a 10% chance Friday, a much better opportunity for some passing showers. Let's talk about the cold tonight. It is cold enough to warrant freeze warnings for the southern half of the Garden State tonight. That is something that be mindful of bring in the vegetation because it could very well be destroyed by tonight's chilly weather. From here on out, we're going to watch the numbers climb after tonight. Of course, today's high was 57. This is slightly below seasonable, the normal 61. Tomorrow, more seasonable at 60. Tuesday, your high is 65. Wednesday, 74. And then it's time for Halloween. What's happening here is that on Halloween, temperatures will be 15 degrees above normal and higher. The highs will range from 75 to 80 degrees plus inland, and we are looking at the potential for record warmth. The record right now for the park stands at 81. So back in 1946, we we're forecasting a high of 78. So we're saying, hey, not necessarily record warmth in the city as of now, but that could change. We have a massive heat pump that will set up really starting Tuesday, and that will continue to crank up the numbers through the work week. Longest dry spells. Let's talk about it. There are so many pieces of information we can share with you about this incredible dry spell we are experiencing. As far as the longest dry spells on record right now, 27 days straight is what we're experiencing. We're tied for the third longest. Tomorrow will be dry. We will be tied for the second longest. Do we get to the longest ever on record? It's looking not likely. However, there is certainly a chance if Friday does not materialize, does not drop some water in the park, then it is very likely that we will run the longest dry spell on record. So it really banks on Friday. Tuesday, there's a minimal chance that we could end the dry spell. Now let's check it out hour by hour. Here's your Monday looking fantastic tomorrow morning. It is cold but bright to start your day. Now we're heading into Tuesday. This is Tuesday evening. We see a few specks of green on the screen. Any showers look to be more likely north of the city and I have to tell you it looks like Long Island could get some showers on Tuesday as well. Again, this is a 10% chance and we have to have water fall in the park at the recording site to actually break the dry spell. Now we take you into Thursday. I stop at a 430. This is when trick or treating is heating up out there. Lots of the kids taking to the streets to collect their candy. Gorgeous looking forecast, a hot forecast. At this point in time, temperatures will be hovering in the mid to upper 70s for most and it will be dry and beautiful as we push past sunset nine o'clock. Kiddos are heading home. The forecast is still dry, but watch. We've got this front rolling through on Friday, Friday morning, eight o'clock. Many of us hopefully experiencing some shower activity. This will help to reduce that elevated fire risk that we expect to extend through most of the work week. But then as we roll into the weekend, we're looking at high pressure setting up once again and nothing but sunshine for your weekend. How much rain are we talking out of this Friday system? Not a lot. Tenth of an inch, maybe two tenths of an inch, quarter of an inch. And again, it all depends on where the shower activity ultimately lands. Tonight, it's nothing but a dry and cold forecast. We're going to bottom out at 29 in Poughkeepsie, 39 for Bridgeport and Islip. Notice the numbers, Somerville, 31 and over 28 freehold down to the freezing mark at 32. Remember, there is that freeze warning in effect for places like Middlesex, Monmouth, Ocean Counties, Orange County as well under that freeze warning. Tomorrow, though, it is a beautiful rebound. 60 degrees high tomorrow after that chilly morning with nothing but sunshine winds tomorrow at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So again, elevated fire risk. Thankfully, the winds are more subdued. That means fires won't spread as rapidly around the region. Your high temperatures tomorrow, 50 
58 in Bridgeport and the Hamptons. We'll top out at 63 for Freehold. Mid 60s as well for Trenton and Somerville. 55 your high tomorrow in Monticello. And then tomorrow night, can we please take home a win for the Yankees? It is time to play ball at 808. 55 and mostly clear for that seventh inning stretch. We're down to 54, few clouds. Final out 53 and mostly clear. Now let's talk Halloween. Record warmth is possible. 78 degrees are forecasted high, three degrees shy of the possible record. Highs around the region, mid 80s for inland New Jersey. Notice on the island a little cooler, low to mid 70s inland. If you're on that south shore because of our southerly flow, green on the screen really represents 60s there, trick or treating a little bit more chilly. 82 will be the high on Thursday in Poughkeepsie. And because we're talking about Halloween, the weekend following is time to, yeah, fall back. November 3rd, just one week away, daylight saving time. Time to, hmm, yeah, you get to get an extra hour of sleep. That sounds fantastic. All right, Monday through Wednesday, temperatures are climbing. Beautiful tomorrow, bright 60. Tuesday, 65, a few more clouds. Wednesday, 74, a few clouds. Thursday, 78 degrees for Halloween. Friday, let's get some showers rolling through 69. And then next weekend, it's dry again with temperature season below the mid 60s. And someone's going to tell the kids about daylight saving, right? So, so we all <laughs> can get an extra hour. Yes, I think you should definitely alert them. Yes, I'll, I'll do my Stay best. Stay in bed an extra hour. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Vanessa.